the first round wide. Here comes the final slide. Hardy Eustace rises just ahead, but Archibald is cruising off on the bridle. Ray Vinker is wider out than a quarter in a 12. Up the hill, three in a line here. Archibald hasn't been asked the question yet in the centre. Under a nice call, Carberry. Hardy Eustace still galloping. Hardy Eustace pulling it out from Archibald. Hardy Eustace defends his title from Archibald, who's flattened out in second. Then in third is Ray Vinker. A tremendous, intriguing finish. The call in at 12 was next. You always get a better kick out of out of winning head or neck or you know you feel you've done more you feel you deserved it more so yeah definitely come back in the second year sure absolutely amazing I was actually more worried about Brave Inca he'd out battled me in the Supreme Novices on War of Attrition the previous year so I knew he was very tough and he'd proven tough all year you know I, I still go back to the time Harsh Ball was beaten in the county hurdle with 10-6 with in his back. I don't think he was a horse that, that enjoyed a hill or a, a battle. So to me, I think, no matter what, and Hardy always just done enough. You know, you could have went around there for another mile and he'd have held him by your neck. You know, it wouldn't have mattered to him. Um, I think it was a worldly winner. I, I, I don't think there was any excuses. I'm out there to win. I'm out there to get beaten in the champion hurdle. Um, and I knew there was no way that I could have done done any more to him, but you just like you know a lot of people are going to be talking through their pockets. So you just you just shrug it off and don't worry about it. Try nothing, man.